Aries, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be taking a look at the harsh truths you need to hear now from your spiritual team. The purpose of this reading is to give you insight on things that either you may you may not be aware of in terms of like what you need to work through, okay? Or there could be things that you already know to be your truth or what you're maybe needing to address within your energy and maybe you just need an outside confirmation for those things that you may already know but let's go ahead and jump into it thank you for your likes comments shares and subscribes i appreciate each and every one of you and let's see what's going on what are the harsh truths my aries need to hear as of right now for the first half of august so we have the four of swords there's a need for you to take time out to perfect the sleep schedule or get a sleep schedule under control or when it comes to the way that you guys may be getting to bed, just period. Are you having too much on your mind right before you go to bed? Are you going to bed in a way where you're trying to process your whole entire life in the 30 minutes prior to you going to sleep? And because of that, when you wake up, you could still be feeling tired. You could still be feeling drowsy or out of it. Okay, Spirit is also saying that it's time for you to take that much needed break from an addiction, a relationship in particular that could uh, have a lot of mental weight or excuse me, have a lot of weight on your mental health. Okay, if you're on a break from talking to a particular love interest, this break, the harsh truth is this break could be the very thing that you need to get yourself back on track or to start to see things from a, a different point of view. Another harsh truth here, Aries, we have the hermit. So the harsh truth is you have a level of awareness or insight that can help you a lot. It's just needing to listen to that insight, needing to take this wisdom and apply it. Okay, for a lot of you, you've been sitting on information that could help you move forward in your career, help you move forward in your relationships, but just needing to apply it, just needing to also be real with yourself, okay? You could have certain information, but if you're allowing your emotions to like supersede logic or information that you know to be true then that could be the challenge here as well aries now i also have the chariot so another harsh truth there's a need for you guys to focus only on what's ahead of you there could have been way too much of a focus on what has happened letting what has happened to you either be a story of victimhood or almost letting the past cripple you in a sense in terms of how you view the future. So the harsh truth is in order for you to basically or essentially turn a bad situation that may have happened in the past into a learning moment, you have to truly learn from it and allow yourself to move forward. And that's what this card is reminding you to do is to allow yourself to move forward in a confident way. Also, if you do have a vehicle, there may be certain issues with the vehicle that you guys can't just keep bypassing or ignoring. This could be like bad brakes or the engine. Something here needs to be addressed with some sort of like vehicle or some form of transportation here. Okay, some of you guys could be using the excuse of, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z or how I'm gonna make X, Y, and Z happen for myself as to why you won't take like a vacation or why you won't um, take on a new job or something like that or move. I also have the Queen of Cups. So the harsh truth is, there's a need for you to take in consideration of your emotions and your feelings in a way where you're validating them, not brushing off to the side, ignoring the fact that you have emotions that are very real and that need to be addressed. With this Queen of Cups, this is a reminder that you wear your emotions, you wear your heart on your sleeve, Aries. And this is not the time to be ignoring <laughs> your emotions, your feelings, all of that, because this could be giving you some clear insight as to what you should and should not do moving forward. And 
For my Aries who could be making decisions solely based off of emotions, this is a time frame in which you need to have a balanced perspective, okay? A balance between logic and also emotion. Anytime you lean more into one or the other more, then you're, you're making decisions from an imbalanced place. Okay, we also have the Knight of Wands here, Aries. So the harsh truth is consistency is going to be the only thing that's going to get you to the place of progress that you're looking to receive. Some of you have been very inconsistent in terms of your ability to stay passionate, focused, driven. Okay, there could be some things that you're missing in this current moment in terms of action that could take you a lot further. So if you're wondering why a business isn't necessarily where you want it to be at, or in terms of your creative endeavors, consistency is going to be key. Okay, and it's not enough to just dream the things that you want. There's action that has to be put behind it. We also have the moon card. So another harsh truth, Aries, you guys need to stop worrying about the future in a way where it makes you scared to live your life or scared to go out of your comfort zone in ways where it could just benefit you more than you could expect. So with the moon card, if you are allowing worry, fear to be the only vibration that controls your decisions during this time frame, the harsh truth is you need to stop living out of anxiousness, fear, or worrying about the future and how things are going to pan out. Because all it does is set you backward. Okay, anybody who you also can't trust or throw them as far as you can, um, or trust, excuse me, I don't, I don't think that's how the saying goes. Um, but anybody who you have to side eye, question, because there could be very real, and listen to what I'm saying, very real reasons as to why you question them, especially if there's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio individual, stay far away. Stay far away because there's a reason why your nervous system could be acting up when you're around this person, whether you're aware of it or not. And the last card we have is the Nine of Cups. So when it comes to your personal goals, Aries, the harsh truth is, Again, it's not enough to dream, have an idea of what you want. It's also important to take actions as if this is truly what you want when it comes to your goals and your aspirations and all of that. Okay, Spirit is also saying what glitters isn't gold sometimes. We can be fooled into situations that seem on surface way better than they actually are. So make sure you're not falling for the okie doke when it comes to like shiny eye syndrome or just paying attention to the face value of things um, when it comes to like a new love interest or a new job or something like that. Anything new that you're taking on, make sure you're not looking at it from a face value position because there could be a lot more that you're not really seeing or may not be realizing could be, you know, going on behind the scenes. But let me pull one more card. We have the nine of pentacles. So the last harsh truth here, Aries, um, if you have like this very hyper independent thing going on, for a lot of you, this could be the root of why maybe you don't feel as supported or secure. Some of you could be so focused on your career that the love of your life could be out there waiting for you to discover them. You just maybe need to live your life a little bit more, okay? If you've been feeling more so lonely, isolating yourself, uh, maybe you wanting to connect with new people as far as friendships, making new friendships, meeting new potentials in love. Spirit is saying you're going to have to put yourself out of your comfort zone and not be in this just solely focusing on you energy in a way where it makes you like shut down and not be receptive to new people. But Aries, this is pretty much what I'm seeing in terms of the messages you may be needing to hear from your spirit guides. If you enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so that you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one. Bye Aries.